Our next guest just won four medals at the Olympic Games in Rio. He's an amazing swimmer. We're excited to have him on River City Live to tell us all about his experience. Please welcome Nathan Adrian. Nathan, welcome to the show. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, good. So give us a recap of everything that's happening in Rio. Obviously you did amazing. You're walking away with a lot of medals. So you could just fill us in on all the details. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you guys hopefully got to experience it in the same way that I did uh, and just follow along in our journey. It was, it was so much fun to, you know, just be a little bit at the beginning of the games, uh, get, to, get to get the games kicked off right, um, you know, by taking home some gold medals in, in a relay. Um, and, and then, you know, handing it off uh, at, at the end of the games to the guys who are, uh, you know, finishing it up. And, you know, hopefully they build on that medal count lead that, uh, that everyone, that Team USA as a whole has started off with. It was definitely exciting to watch, and we're here in Jacksonville, so can you comment on two swimmers, Ryan Murphy and Caleb Dressel? They did it amazing. They represented our city. So can you just talk about them for a little bit? You know, those two swimmers are great. Uh, you know, I, I, love, I love the fact that they have two maybe a little bit different approaches, uh, but they're both extremely successful. Um, you know, I, I obviously train with Ryan at Cal uh, on a daily basis, so I've gotten to know him pretty well. This was my first trip with Caleb, but you know, the, the future is bright uh, when looking at Team USA and the future. Yeah, definitely, and we're proud of them, and we're proud of you too and all the accomplishments. So how did you get started in swimming? I mean, you're six foot six, so you're as tall as an NBA basketball player, but you're <laughs> built like a linebacker in the NFL. So how'd you get into swimming? Uh, you know, it, it was it was really at two years old. It was a learn to swim. It was a safety thing. Uh, five years old is when I really got started um, started going with the the team thing or the training year round. But really, it was just you know learning to swim and having a good time doing it. Do you have any advice for future Olympians? Like, how do you get started on this long road and get to the elite level that you're at? So, you know, actually, I, I'd say goal setting is one of the biggest things, um, you know, and I've actually partnered with, with City for a, a program called Stand for Progress, and we're trying to encourage everyone to, uh, to use the hashtag Stand for Progress and, and sharing what it, people's goals on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, um, because a goal, I, I don't really count it as a goal until it's, it's put into writing. So, you know... I, it's easy to think about those and, and think about big, big dreams and, and goals and all that until the next day when you kind of forget and you're like, oh, you know, you're not quite as motivated. But if you put it down, uh, you know, in writing, it's on your Facebook, it's on your Twitter, um, you know, you get to see that every day and then you get to try to live it and dream it and believe it. I couldn't agree with you more. Setting goals is so important, but also having a mentor is really important and you're in part like of a program that's about being a mentor can you talk about that well that's what the stand for progress program is um, you know and, and it's it's trying to encourage uh, you know kids to to set their goals and 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 do it in a way that they're not afraid um, I, th I think that's there's there's a certain stigma about not achieving your big goal oh no you failed but you can't think about it like that, you know. You got to you got to set a goal that scares you a little bit. There's no no shame in that. And then you know, set micro goals on the way to that. And and as long as you're you're on that pathway to success, and you're getting better, then then you know, it, I feel like it was it was a successful thing. That's great advice. Now, how can viewers get more involved with all this stuff? Uh, you know, all we're doing is just trying to get people to, to use that hashtag, Stand for Progress, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, feel free to search the hashtag itself so you get to get a feel for who else has set their goals and who else has put that out there. All right. Hey, Nathan, congratulations on your recent success. Good luck in the future, and thanks for being on River City Live.